I do have one question though. Yo, what? Is she about to call him out by the, the 511 dicks? Wait a damn minute. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and this is Melodic's World. So we are back. Hello, hello. I hope you guys are all well, smiling, good health, having a great week. We have been on the Euphoria train. We are going back on that express. This is season one, episode four of Euphoria. I never felt so, long. so as usual, a little housekeeping. I love to keep a safe space for all of us here. So, this just has to be said. If you are here to do anything other than watch along, enjoy my company with everyone else, then you can just see your way back off. Simple as that. And for those who are still here, I hope that you'll stick around, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you don't miss any future uploads. All right, so with all that out of the way, we are clear for takeoff, y'all. Let's get back into Euphoria Season 1, Episode 4. I don't understand why we have to drive seven hours to see a psychiatrist. I know exactly who that is. the best care possible for you. When Jules was 11 years old, her mother took her on a road trip. Ooh, this episode. Wasn't Dolly like a sexual predator? Was he? He was actually really sweet though. They talked for over an hour. And only later did Jules realize that she hadn't lied once. <laughs> Where children can learn how to feel better about themselves. Okay. Let me give you a tour. What? No way. Oi. She had just about had enough of the tour. What is it? Want to go home? And that's when Jules realized. This wasn't a tour at all. It was an elaborate plan to admit her to a fucking psychiatric hospital. Are you serious? Mom. Wow. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Why don't you tell the group a little about yourself and why you're here? I don't know. Maybe because of like sad for a really long time. What do you mean by a long time? Maybe since I was seven I or something. Maybe these mitts will do the trick. No, not the mitts. Do you self-injure? She didn't just hate her brain, though. She hated her body. Not every part. Just her shoulders. And her arms. And her hands. Also her chest. Her stomach, her thighs. She was developed a few coping mechanisms. None of them healthy. And a few scary enough to land her in. Ooh. Oh, you like in the unit. It's okay. Are you making any friends? Not really. Can you leave me the rest? Sure. What is she about to do? Oh, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Something really stupid. <sighs> Eventually, Jules got better and came home. And by 16, Jules has gotten a little slutty. And every guy was the same. I mean, I'm a hundred percent straight. Um, cool. So, do you like top? If you're straight, why are you asking that question? That's like not my thing. <laughs> uh-huh. Plus that was before she fell for Tyler. Like, hard. Like, really hard. What are you smiling about? I don't know, just... Life. I never felt so alone. Is 
nothing I'm really passionate about. You know, like I'm not dying to say or do anything really. Every time I admit that to people, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so sad, but. <laughs> Not so sad. Most people. Like when I look at my mom. Sometimes we just we, people just don't think of anything. Like, the, like they don't have to have the answer for everything. Their profiles or their posts and their Tumblr rants. Rue. But sometimes I just sit and think Rue. like what's the point? Rue. Rue, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Why'd you call me? <laughs> well what happened to make you call? She took more drugs. And then she kissed her best friend, and then ran. Just like, open the fucking... Oh, and then she went to Fez's house. <laughs> that happened. Rue, you know that drug addicts don't reach out for help. Unless there's no options. I was with my best friend. Okay, well, she's, I mean, she's a new friend. But we hang out every day. I misread the whole situation. Yes and no. <sighs> I guess that hanging out with her was the best thing that's happened to me in a while. So. Does the way in which you feel about her remind you of anything? The obsession, the feelings, the withdrawal. Not like drugs? Mm. Didn't drugs feel real good? Oh, good. get into it, get into it, okay? And ladies and gentlemen, that is what we call an addicting personality, okay? Or an addictive personality. You couple that with substance abuse or whatever, it's volatile. They have a food truck. Wait a minute. Come through legit business. I love Fez and Ashtray. I don't. I know they're selling the dope and you know, it's not good. I get it. But they're just, I love their characters. Even though I know we should probably hate them. Right? We should probably not like them. <laughs> I'm standing by the fucking Ferris wheel. I don't see you. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm on my way. I, how am I supposed to know there's two Ferris wheels? Nate, shut up. I can't have you hanging out the food dressed like that. Yeah, well, maybe it'll smell better. She is dressed a bit much. This? I mean, I know these are grown people, Mr. Stan Levingston, but like, you're depicting teenagers. Like, come on. No teenager is gonna be be able to leave the house just like that. I'm sorry. It's just not realistic. You have to make sure she's a distraction. And they probably haven't talked since the kiss. So Hold on. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Yes. No, let her go, cat. She gotta handle her business. Plus the spaceship ride, that shit, I it used to be fun. But that shit used to always get me crazy. <gasps> Uh, uh don't try to make me, uh, uh don't make me feel it. Uh, uh, I'm not riding the ride. Oh, she smiled. See, it's good. Smile back. Oh. Wait a damn minute. Wait, is she imagining this? I missed you. I missed you too. Okay, it's not the match. Okay, good. <laughs> I think she's in love with her. Really? Like, we didn't know that. Are you mad at me? No. Okay. Don't you think? Can we just pretend like what I did wasn't super weird? It wasn't weird. We don't have to talk about it. Talk about what? Nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna go catch some friends. Okay. Stingray McKay! I'll see you. I'll see what you got going All on. All right, chill. Let, let me get some. You guys, like, in a relationship? No, we just chilling. Are you just chilling? Yeah, we chilling. Oh. Okay. okay. She didn't like that. You on the field. Since freshmen gotta earn their due, that's all. You take that attitude, you spend the rest of your life on the bench. You got promise, you got talent. You're not pushing yourself hard enough. Yeah, I think because you're just fine. Right, get up. Just trying to help keep a girl like her. Uh. Why? It's not like we're in a relationship. Oh! I don't even care about the ball. Whoa. Uh! Just oh lord, here you go. Here you go. Why do you think this chili has been voted best chili in the county five years in a row? We don't care, sir. You refuse to lose. It's about who you want to become in the world. Ew, get out of his face. I'm just looking out for you. Your hair, your hair probably smells like boo boo. And I, oh, 
Like, get, get out of his face. I'm not saying scenarios like that don't happen, y'all, but like, sometimes I feel like the way Sam writes female characters and puts them in certain situations, like, it's just, ugh, it, 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 it makes the hair on my arm stand up. You just told me that we're not even in a fucking relationship. Sure did. I know the guy, he's just gonna talk shit. Like what? Like about you. Or whatever, Cassie. What does it matter? Whatever. It's a grown ass man. Like whatever the fuck you've done. Uh, what have I done with him? Really? Like I don't want to talk about this right now, Cassie. We're in the middle of a fucking carnival. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not like it's that big of a fucking secret, Cassie. You chose the carnival when y'all supposed to be having fun to 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 lay this out. I gotta get back into it, sir. Cassie, throw him away. Throw the whole boy away. Like, seriously. Gross. Gross. So what you was looking for? Molly. She over there working at the pretzel stand. Thank you. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, because I was about to say why. <laughs> I can't believe she's wearing that. I mean, that's a little too much. Hey, you know, having fun? But she look good. You want to do Molly? Welcome to Pretzel Mania. Can I take your order? How many pretzels do you want? We don't eat carbs. Two, please. That'll be 40. So you think Nick's cheating on you? I don't know. He's just been acting super weird lately. They got a whole operation! Like... I've never not found you someone's phone. Bitch, you're my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not playing Thank with them. You. Honestly, fuck them. Oh. I went through Nate's phone. And it was weird. Like weird. Like weird, weird. Oh, her, she's still riding rides with her boo. With her feature boo. Oh my fucking god. What? That's him. Who? Oh. The guy. The one from the motel. Okay, what guy are we looking at? The, okay, the one in the apron serving the chili. I swear to God. Oh, fuck you, wait. Jules, do you know who that is? Yeah, the guy from the motel. It's Cal Jacobs. Nate Jacobs' dad. That's Nate's dad? That's Nate's dad. No fucking way. No fucking way. You're full of shit. No way. You're full of shit. He fucking owns half this town. He built it. All the apartment buildings. Uh-huh. And he's also no built his penis inside a lot of people. Electric chair. I'm being 100% serious. She, but she really is. You, you don't believe me? No. Girl, you better be careful. Oh my gosh, how dangerous this is in real life. Let me tell you. Excuse me, sir. Can I please have a small cup of chili? Oh, he knows right away, honey. Well, also he's been texting her, but he knows his dad, so. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Sorry. A little jumpy. <laughs> Uh, it, it's okay. It was my fault. I'll get you another cup. Y'all, y'all couldn't have been more obvious. I mean, <laughs> you all but holding the sign at this point. Like, what, what's going on? Hey, yo, Nate, who was that? Her name's Jules. She's new here. She goes to East Island. Damn, that's jail, babe. That's too bad. And he's now disgusted. I know he is. Cause he liked, he genuinely likes jewels. And now he put that together. Girl. Hey, mom. Well, because she's been in the Gravitron for like 20 straight minutes. Not in the Gravitron for 20 straight minutes? 12 by 10. I don't know how people can do that. I really don't. They must have like negative 100 vertigo because. Thank you. Even though I have the same body as Bruno Mars. You look hot. Your mom's like all organic, right? Oh, yeah. Here's your issue. You gotta get her to buy like the regular stuff, okay? The regular stuff. You gotta do it. How old are the boys again? They're like our age, yeah. How about you grab another slushie? I can get more tickets. Ah, okay. She's having so much fun and I love it. I really do love him for her. Just tell your sister I really needed to cover my shift. 
versions of myself and not only do I look good, I fucking feel good. So they got we should just pick the hottest, most confident, bad bitch version of ourselves and do that for the rest of the school year. <laughs> and this year's winner of the chili cook-off is Whatever, just raise the money you need to raise. Okay. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here right now because I'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me. But I just wanted to say congratulations. Daddy, get out of here. What in God's name is your problem? You cunt. Oh, oh shit. Sup, Cass? You wanna ride the car stop? She's not answering you. I think I overreacted. <laughs> oh my god. You're fucking dead to me. I do have one question though. Yo, what? Man, I'm telling you, that girl has some. Is she about to call him out by the, the 511 dicks? Cut the cameras. Oh shit. And he's probably looking for jewels. Girl, the suspense is killer. Oh my gosh. Who is this Justin Bieber looking mother? He's kinda cute, girl. I'm not gonna hold you. He little, he'd be cute. Got an extra cigarette? Mm -hmm. I really have to pee. Um, um, girl, I'm gonna be like, no, bitch, where is my sister? I used to hear stories about you, like, all the time in middle school. Oh, yeah? What kind of stories? She had, like, a really big dick and fuck every girl in your grade. Um, chow. Anyway, so. Basically. How old are you? 16. Electric chair. girlfriend those pictures are a little suspicious I'm explaining to me why you have someone else's dick in your phone multiple someone else's okay <laughs> look I'm going through a lot of shit right now I'm not gonna tell anyone I promise I like on your life yeah on my life I'm sorry I got so angry at you before oh now you sorry cuz she done called your ass out I got a lot of shit. A lot of shit going on right now, and I'm really confused. Right, that sounds like you. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem, buddy. It's no good. Oh my gosh, he found her. Lord Jesus. Really, girl? On the Ferris wheel? Oh, bitch. I mean, the the what is it called? The, the pony mobile. <laughs> Gia! What the hell? I've been calling you. <laughs> Are you stoned right now? Nah. <laughs> Yo, Roy. What's up? This is Rue's little sis. Oh, yeah, I do that, by the way. She was hitting the wig. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. All right, Gia, get up. Let's go. What you mean, let's go? You see, we having a fucking good time. We need to go. We now. having the best time. G, get the fuck up and let's go. Wow. I'm not playing with you, let's go. What'd you do? Decide to just clean up and like, oh, I want to become a mom? Like, right. Relax. G, get the fuck up, let's go. Now. What's your problem, mom? Yo, for real, why'd you become such a bitch? <laughs> Excuse me? I think some slapping is in order. You fucking OD? Exactly, Gia. Get up. Let's hope you don't get a dick. Do that shit again, right? <sighs> oh my gosh, are you serious? Jules, you don't hear him with his heavy ass feet? Boy, if you don't. Hey. Look, I know you have the power to ruin my life right now. Begging you, pleading with you. 
Please don't. I know you already told your friend I saw her look at me. She won't tell anyone. Because if this ever came out, I'd lose everything. I'd lose everything. Oh, he's a Mr. Sufti. Oh, he, he likes to do criminal activity, but he's scared. Oh, OK. I have no intention of like hurting you or anything. I'm sorry about earlier. That was kind of dumb. It's okay. I just wanted to. It won't be a thing. Don't worry. Girl, you hold all the cards. You have all the power. <laughs> he just he just literally showed his entire ass. Oh Lord. Where were you? What's wrong? I just think we always think. Always too strong or something. Do you think mom's gonna be sitting in the living room when we get there? No, she won't. If I walked in there, I <laughs> I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't say hi. No, she's. Mm. Should I check on her? Oh no, it's good. I got it. Thank you for looking out for her tonight. Of course. Love you. Love those moments. What's about to happen here? Oh, trying to see if she has any marks. Does she? Yep, she does. So disrespectful! That shit got me so hot! And you, girl, you did something real stupid. Like, what was she thinking? Hey, shut the door. Oh, he about to find the tape with him and um, Jules and throw that shit out. <laughs> Nate already took it. <laughs> His whole life. Oh, he's, oh, 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 honey, oh, honey, oh, my God. Whew. <laughs> Oh, she's taking it. Reveal. I'm not here to hurt you. I know you have these ideas about me based on the first time that we met, and I understand that. I'm not the person that you met that night. You let go of me? I'm so, yeah, I know that he really likes her, but like, I'm sorry, it's it, null and void, honey, because of how y'all met, and then this whole situation with her father being who he, his father being who he is. You know, over the past few weeks, I've spent every moment of every day getting to know you. I kind of feel closer to you than I do to anyone in the whole world. I don't trust you, Nate. How you don't trust her? Oh, because the tape. His dad. How dare you? Are you kidding me? No, stop. And that's precisely why I don't trust you. Because you're so broken, you don't even trust yourself. And that's scary. No, sir, you're scary. Okay. I wouldn't answer that. You're gonna want to hear this. Over the last three weeks, you have knowingly produced and distributed child pornography, including you've seen images that were taken on school property. I've compiled all these photos, along with an IP address. I sent them to you. No, you sent them to an account of a person that doesn't fucking exist. And I mean, anyone can. Then I didn't tell them everything. Okay. You could do that. Here's what would definitely happen. You did not buy a sex offender slip. It's gonna be very fucking difficult to find a job. You'll be harassed and spat at and treated like a fucking animal. She already is. For being trans. I really am. You're kind. 
You just act like this because she don't trust you. I don't try to ruin my life. And I won't have to ruin yours. You know what I think? Girl, be real careful. I think you're a fucking faggot just <gasps> like your daddy. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You have a nice night. Girl, the only thing that saved her was that he really does love her. Oh, oh Jesus. Girl, she does a lot of stupid shit, but not that she deserves the outcome or what. But she's been doing just a lot of dumb shit. Hey, do you think I could sleep over? Yeah. Of course. <sighs> does she tell Rue? I wonder if she tells Rue who Tyler is. No, she doesn't. She could. She can't tell him. Everything okay? How'd the date go with Tyler? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go get picture. Ah, is that it? That's it? Okay. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, I knew that was kind of, I, I, I thought we was gonna fade to the title card, but okay. All right, uh, okay, so episode four. <laughs> a lot happened. We were in the nuclear place of the carnival and so many moving pieces, so many moving parts, and so many things have happened. This was almost like a, like a mid-season finale and we're halfway through the season, so. It pans out um <laughs> but I yeah I really love this episode I just I feel really bad for Jules obviously but um you know all all roads led to Rue so <laughs> there you go <laughs> um but I hope you guys enjoyed uh watching uh episode four with me we are four episodes in again halfway through the season so I'm, I'm really excited to see what the second half of the season is going to give us I just know it's about to get deeper and darker, <laughs> and I hope that there's light at the end of the tunnel. We will find out. Um, but thank you guys again for joining me. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you do smash that subscribe button before you leave, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.